Welcome back to Brett Tanger, Brett Barnett. Today we're doing a custom shop makeover for drummer Michael Cowan. Now oh, Michael- oh, 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 Hold up, hold up, we're clipping. What? You're talking too loud, just talk. I'm, ta I'm talking too loud? Yep. Oh, 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 sorry. I've got like earwax in my ear and it's like the size of my thumb. So it sounds like I'm swimming in a fishbowl here. Hey, TMI, just talk normal. Oh, okay. How's this? That's great. Okay. Anyways, so the custom shop makeover. This is the video where you guys send me video and picture of your setup, and I choose one to Gibraltarize in my own way using Gibraltar hardware. Now, if you want to submit, please send all video and pictures to brentshang.gibraltar at gmail.com. So, let's see how Michael's kit is going together. So Michael's playing an eight piece drum kit. He's got eight, 10, 12 rack toms, 14, 16 floor, 22 inch kick, and two 14 inch snares. He also has eight cymbals and a set of hi-hats. Now that's a lot of drums, that's a lot of cymbals, and he's got a lot of tripods. So let's look at how he has everything mounted. So he's got his 10 and 12 inch rack toms mounted directly over the bass drum off of the bass drum mount. Out of that bass drum mount, he has a pole coming up and it's holding a cymbal arm with a multi-clamp that's mounting a splash. Next, he has a cymbal stand that his left main crash is attached and his uh, eight inch rack tom as well. So then he's got another splash boomed in off of that cymbal stand to make two splashes right in the center. Next, he's got another secondary left crash mounted off its own cymbal stand. His hi-hat is a tripod and then he also has a secondary snare. So he's got a number of tripods on the left hand side. So on the floor tom side of the kit, he's got a ride cymbal with its own cymbal stand. Then his 16 inch stack with its own cymbal stand as well. Then his right main crash with its own stand, but it's got another cymbal arm accessory mounted off of the, the main crash boom holding a secondary right crash. So he's got three tripods on his floor tom side and three to four tripods on his hi-hat side. So let's see what we can do to Gibraltarize this kit and simplify it a bit. So I based this entire setup off of the side stealth mounting system, which is the GSS MS. It's 18 and a half inches tall and 30 inches long. It's very, uh, it's got a very small footprint, which is awesome because us drummers, we have to play as much crap as possible and put it in a really small space. So this unit really helps you to do that. So I did both sides with the GSS MS. So let's start on my hi-hat side to see what we did. So, I took the two rack toms off the bass drum and, and mounted them to the stands. So, you know what, I don't even have a bass drum mount. I couldn't even do that if I wanted to. Mm. So, right out of the front leg on the hi-hat side, I took the SCDP, which is a double tom mount, and I mounted out of the front leg. Now, this is holding the eight and 10 inch rack toms. Now, out of the back clamp, I'm holding the left main crash. Now, my left, sp my, uh, my left splash right here I mounted using um, a cymbal accessory, this SCCMBRA. Now this is attaching to the, the excess tom arm that's, um, holding onto my t that's holding my 10 inch tom. So I had some extra left over, why not use it, right? The secondary left crash is mounted directly out of the back leg of the GSSMS. So I had to use a long boom arm in order to get it placed high enough to where it was, where he had his place and where, um, it actually is comfortable for me too. So next we have the auxiliary snare. Now I mounted this to the back leg of the GSS MS. In order to do that, I had to use a special multi-angle adjustable clamp. So I used the SCGC MAMC. So I was able to adjust the angle that the snare basket comes off the back leg and uh, position the snare exactly where I need it to be able to play comfortably. So the hi-hat stand, I'm using a no-leg hi-hat stand, the 9707 NLDP, and I'm connecting it to the crossbar of the, the side mounting system using the EA100, the SCEA100, which is an extension arm with a, with a multi-angle grabber clamp. Now I have no tripods on my hi-hat side. Every, the floor space is clean. There's plenty of space to like put microphones and stuff if uh, the sound guy needs to put tripods on the ground. So now let's talk about the right side of the kit, the floor tom. So we have the GSS MS serving as the base. Then I'm using an SCSPCM, which is a, t a single mount platform that I'm mounting the, uh, the, the 12-inch rack tom right over the bass drum with. <clears throat> then I'm using another SCCMBRA um, mounted off the excess tom arm that the 12-inch tom is on. 
and uh, that's where I'm mounting my, uh, my right splash off of. So I'm utilizing two things, uh, one thing for two things again. Then the, the ride symbol is mounted out of the back clamp of that tom mount. Moving along, we have our uh, 16 inch stacker. This, I've got two symbols stacked here. They're not the same way that he did it, but this is the way I did it. Mounted this one off of the crossbar. Then we have the right main crash and the secondary right crash are both mounted to the same boom arm, which is very similar to the way Michael has his setup. Now, I mounted this out of the back leg of the GSS MS, but in order to get the height that I needed for it, I had to use the 7 8 inch accessory shaft extender, the SC78 ASC. So it allows me to play really low profile rigs, but get my cymbals up as high as I want them. So the way that I have these oriented was I used an LBBT long boom with a brake tilter, and I mounted the, actually the secondary right crash to it. And I actually have the tilter for it back here. So I wanted to um, add another tilter on it for the right main crash. So I added the deluxe cymbal tilter, the SCDCT with a brake tilter. Now it allows me to fit it right over the end of the, uh, the blunt end of the boom. So now I can turn one cymbal boom into two, a double cymbal stand pretty much. So now I've got two cymbals on one stand. So the product highlights for this build are GSSMS, the stealth side mounting system. We have the SCDP, which is a double tom mount. We have the SCCMBRA, which is a medium cymbal attachment. We have the no leg uh, hi-hat stand, the 9707 NLDP. We have the SCEA100 extension arm with grabber clamp. We have the GUASB, which is the ultra adjust snare basket. To connect it to the rack is the SCGCMAMC, which is the multi angle multi clamp. Now we have the SCSPCM, which is a single platform mount for the Tom. Then we have the SC78ASE, which is 7 8 inch accessory shaft extender. Then we have the SCDCT BT which is the deluxe cymbal tilter that has a gearless cymbal angle adjustment. Well, that's it for this episode of Custom Shop Makeover. Thank you very- we're, we're clipping again. What? We're clipping again, take it down a notch. I'm too loud? Yeah. Dude, it's the earwax. Don't blame the earwax. Earwax. Talk quiet. Okay. That's it for this episode of Custom Shop Makeover. Is that better? Perfect. Okay. Michael, thank you very much for submitting. You have a very, you got a lot of stuff in your setup and I loved how condensed it is. We were able to fit everything on the GS SMS on both sides of the kit. It's awesome. For those of you that would like to submit for custom shop makeover, please send videos and pictures to brenthang.gibraltar at gmail.com. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>